Hey guys, this has been bugging me for the last couple days and I figured who better to complain to than you all. Um, I got a email from eBay two or three days ago and uh, basically it said that my account was going to be suspended for two weeks from doing any buying. Uh, I could still sell stuff of course, but I couldn't buy anything. Um, and all the feedback that I have left for sellers, if it wasn't 100% positive, if it was a, a neutral, a negative, or even a, like a soft positive, they were going to remove uh, from the past year. And uh, on top of that, my eBay buyer protection would be removed indefinitely from any further purchases. And I was like, what the hell? What did I do? I mean, I 99% buy on eBay. I do sell every once in a while, but... Um, I was I was a little confused so there's a li one little sentence in the email that says you have uh, had too many refunds uh, in the past 90 days. I was like, well, what, okay, I, I yes, I have gotten some refunds on some items. So there's a, a contact section on eBay. They actually have someone you can call, which is incredibly rare for like a company like that. And uh, I had to I waited till the next day. I called them and they. Uh, were very nice on the phone reading their script uh, and they said that well let, let me look into this uh, let me see if I can you know figure it out for you and we'll call you back um, the they called me back maybe an hour later and said that yeah uh, unfortunately I wasn't able to resolve this it, you know the 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 ban on your uh, account still stands and you you know we're just we're sorry so I went on to ex try to figure this out and explain to them. I'm like, well, I've, I've had some issues. If, if you guys have been watching uh, some of my like game pickup videos or stuff over the last, I don't know, I guess I would say a couple months now, I've mentioned a few times, you know, oh, I had some eBay issues or, or a seller didn't send me the right item or they sent me a completely scratched or nasty item that the description was bad. I ask questions every single time I buy something on eBay ahead of time. Uh, even if it says in the description, everything's perfect and fucking wonderful, I always ask, you know, is there any scratches on the discs or is there writing in the booklet, stuff like that. Um, and, you know, when an item comes, if it's screwed up or it's not the way it's described, you know, I'm going to contact, I'm going to, you know, ask, you know, hey, uh, what can we do about this? Most of the time, I don't want to do a full refund because I don't want to have to pay for the shipping and handling back. Uh, and also... You know, with Joey and the sellers at the flea market and stuff, I, I can normally swap out, you know, a booklet or a disc or something like that if if it comes to that. So I'll normally just ask for, hey, can you give me a few dollars or a refund because, you know, the, the condition was not what you described. And I've never, I never threaten, I never leave, I haven't left a, po a negative feedback in, in forever. I, I left one neutral and, like, some soft positives. So I was, you know pissed that they were trying to say that it's my fault because I've run into a, apparently a bad string of luck over the last couple months of sellers not describing their shit correctly or just sending me wrong stuff. Um, and they, their answer was just, oh, we're, we're sorry, we know this is a, a bad situation for you, but that they couldn't give me a, you know, well, what an answer to what do I do in a, in a situation like that. Um, the most recent one, the one that finally, like, cut it off, like, I went over 25% of the transactions I've had has, have issued a refund or something, a replacement or whatever. Um, this was the Rayman book that I had gotten uh, and I showed in a video not too long ago that had the writing the codes in the back. If you notice, the codes are missing now. Um, <laughs> what happened was I had purchased, or I got a $3 refund from the seller because he did not list that it had writing in it and I had asked, you know, is it in good condition? And is there any writing or any issues or anything like that? And he said, no, it's great. So he said, I apologize. I didn't realize that there was writing in it. Here's three bucks back. That was nice of him. Uh, I used that three bucks and put it a little bit more towards getting another copy of the same game, Rayman, long box version. The game and the box of the one I bought were pretty shitty. I mean, the box was in horrible condition. The game was scratched up. But they said the booklet was in good condition. I asked them, is the booklet in very good condition, no rips, no tears, and no writing. They responded, yes it is, uh, everything is great, you know, with the booklet, there's a little bit of damage and stuff done to the case. I'm like, I don't care, I already have a case and, and a disc, that's fine. The, I, I came home, 
in the mailbox uh, from the second one I ordered, in the mailbox was a soaking wet, now I know this isn't the seller's fault obviously, but uh, a soaking wet copy of Rayman um, because it had poured down rain all day and the mailman I guess just didn't care, maybe he was pissed off and threw it in the mailbox and our mailbox leaks, whatever. Um, so I open it up and you know I'm, I'm pissed because it's ruined. Uh, the booklet was so soaking wet and soggy, and, and I'm already really pissed off. But the topping on, on the uh, cake there was in the back, uh, in the basically fill-out card section. It was filled out. Uh, it was written in. And I had not only had asked him once, but I had responded, you know, once he had responded back to me, I said, okay, good, because I had an issue with a seller with the same game where someone had written in the back. Uh, and he either never looked or he looked, he barely looked and he just didn't give a shit. And my second fucking book of Rayman had writing in it. So I was so pissed, I literally just ripped that soggy book in half, threw it in the garbage. Uh, there's nothing I can do on eBay because basically, uh, my account is suspended and they said if I have any more like refunds or any issues like that, they would pretty much, uh, remove my account completely. Um, in, in the future. So I might have been able to get uh, my money back on this one case, but it would have been just another like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? You're not allowed to do that, uh, you know, especially right after we've already warned you. So I, I said, you know what, I'll, I'll eat the, it was like 10 bucks for the replacement of the game. I'll eat the $7 because of the $3 refund and, and say, screw it, and I'm going to go leave that guy uh, negative feedback because what else do I have to lose now? Um, after that, uh, I was so pissed, I grabbed a old old pencil that had an old hard pink eraser on it, and it, it was written in pen, but I started scrubbing the shit out of it. And after, I don't know, an hour or so, I was able to remove 99% of any ink residue that was on there. You can still see some indentions and shit, but hey, it's much better than it was, and it's the only thing I got out of this whole fucking issue, but this la the last like five months I've had now issues with eBay, I've had issues with YouTube, where if you don't remember a video I put up or you're new to the channel, uh, I had put up a unboxing of a game that came out the next day. I work at a game store, I had, had pre-ordered my own copy, when the copy came in I opened it up, checked it out, and I filmed a little bit of what came in the box, and I got flagged and they uh, put a strike against my account. I had no gameplay footage in it, it was no footage that was any different from that you could just go to the website of, you know, of any company that had this collector's edition pre-ordered and see what's inside. It didn't matter, they wouldn't remove the uh, strike against my channel after I called them and asked and they said sorry. They actually lied uh, to me and said that it did have gameplay footage in it and I was like, no it didn't. They said, well our lawyer says it does, so I was like, fuck it, whatever. So that, that, and... Uh, I've had issues with my company I work for, which I won't get into, but that's three fucking things um, that I've had problems with. And when I say company I work for, I mean not the touring music stuff, the home video game related stuff. Um, so yeah, it's been it's been an interesting fucking last four months or whatever. Um, but basically I'm only putting this up mainly as a warning. Let's see, we're at eight minutes and thirty seconds, so wow, this is a lot of rambling and complaining. Uh, basically if you're having issues and you're buying a lot of stuff on, on eBay, you're not protected. I never got a warning or anything. Um, you only have a certain amount of uh, asking for a refund or, or opening a case or something like that that you can you know do, apparently. Because the guy says, oh, you, we should have sent you a warning. And then he's like, oh, wait, we didn't send you a warning. I apologize for that. And I'm like, uh, okay, well, thanks. You know, that's great. I'm, I'm glad, you know, you're apologizing, but you're not doing anything about it. And, uh, I mean, I'm the type of guy that I, I don't leave, I didn't leave, uh, automatic negative feedbacks or I didn't open a case out of nowhere. I did what eBay said and I contacted the seller, uh, and I tried to resolve it on my own, which I did. And I never had them, you know, any seller ever say, you're, you're blackmailing me or you're doing anything like that. Cause I wasn't, they were, they fucked up and they knew it. So be careful. Uh, don't think that you're protected you know, on, or covered on just because they say you are. And I'm not saying don't buy on eBay. Fuck, I'm going to still buy on eBay. I know I will. Uh, I just, I guess I'll have to be even more careful, you know. So, hope this maybe helps out someone in the future. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace.